He is so wonderful. I am so blessed. It seems like he, everyone he comes in contact to, they just enjoy him. For me, I don't really worry about what I can't do and what I have. I just worry about what I can do. And that's just what makes me happy in life. From birth, I noticed like his gum and his mouth was different. He wasn't meeting milestones. I had to be careful certain ways I picked him up because his arms would literally slip through my hands because he was just so flexible. And his toes started to curl. And he had really, really long fingers and really long feet. About four months is when they initially noticed his head not growing correctly. He started developing this ridge on his forehead. I think he was almost two and a half before he had his skull surgery. And now at this point, he's four years old and he's already had another surgery on both of his feet. And we had no diagnosis. We meet with Dr. Dietz at Johns Hopkins. He's a genetic counselor who, who specializes in connective tissue disease. He put us in a research program because he didn't want to label him. And it wasn't until a year later that we got a diagnosis. We learned about what I had when I was six. We got some genetic testing done because we didn't know what was up with me. We knew something was up, but we didn't know exactly what was going on. They found the genetic defect and it was the ski mutation at the first exon. So the rare condition I have is called Spritz and Goldberg syndrome, and it's like three syndromes mixed together, and that's what I am. Lois Dietz, Marfans, and Ellers down low. Finally, I knew what was going on with my child. I had some sort of answer that gave me some closure. It's like, wow, we have a direction now. We have somewhere we can go. Unfortunately, it was very rare. There was like only uh, 20 cases worldwide. So I got online and there's nothing out there. And that's when I decided I built a web page and just started becoming the voice for this disease. Don't give up. Genetics is so evolving. And get put in the database. Get found out. They may come across you again and may have found what you have. You could be living a lot better life 